Well, there's something simple and fun here today, because if you're making a game and you're using Unreal Engine, there's a built-in jump function, but there's a bit of a limitation there, because maybe you want to make a double jump, and in that case, you're already kind of screwed, because the jump function only works when you are on the ground. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the whole idea behind a double jump is you jump in the air. So let's implement something that allows us to have a double, triple, really as many jumps as you would have liked to add to your character with a simple system. The project files for this are available down below in the description on the Patreon page or for YouTube members if you want to look around in this. So we'll use the third person character templates here as our base and we're going to be working off of the third person character blueprint. And here we are. So we've got the camera input, uh, the movement input, and then the jump input. And you might be able to see that the jump input, again, it's just the jump function, and then when you complete it, so when you let go of the jump button, uh, it stops jumping. These are pre-existing functions. That's fine. So for now, let's just pull this stop jumping uh, aside, and we're going to put in a little bit of logic here uh, first. So... First and foremost, what we want to do is we make a variable here, and we'll call that uh, max jumps, and that will be a integer. And then we'll make a second variable here, which will be our current jumps. Now, whenever we press the jump button, what we're going to do first is we're going to get this current jumps, and we're going to plus plus it, which just increments it, uh, making its value just go up by one. So if we have zero jumps, and we jump once, this will become one. And if we already have one jump, and we do this again, this becomes two. And if we already have gone two jumps, and we do this, this becomes three. So you can see where we're going here. So we're going to check whether that is less than or equal to our maximum amount of jumps. So if we are only allowed to jump once, this will uh, be true once until we reset our current jump counter, and then we can jump again. But if our max jumps is two, that will allow us to go through here twice before it starts blocking us out. So let's add in a branching node, which you can do by uh, holding down the B key and just clicking anywhere. That adds a branching node uh, very quickly. So a very nice little shortcut to know. And at this point, uh, you can just keep using the normal jump function here and for the most part, that will work. Uh, we're actually going to not use the jump and stop jumping because uh, they don't really work with being in midair. What we'll do instead is we will uh, use the launch character function. This is a function that just exists on any blueprint that is a character or a child blueprint of a character. And we can set the launch velocity here. And we can say uh, we want to overwrite the X and the Y. We actually don't want to do that because this is going to be a jump. Uh, but we do want to overwrite the Z, which is the up and down direction. And for that, let's make a vector, which will be X and Y uh, zero. But the Z value, we can put in uh, the jump force that we want to have. So we can just put that in directly if we wanted to. But what we can also do is we can use our character movement component here and we can actually get the Z jump velocity out of there. That way we can easily just go in here and change the Z jump velocity, which is automatically set to 700, just like you would with any normal jumping. It's just going to use that same information this way. So that's very, very nice. And before we start testing this, we want to change this from uh, being triggered to being started because triggered will fire any time it can as long as it's being held down started only triggers when you actually press the button so now we'll be able to see we can jump once we can jump a second time and after this we won't be able to jump anymore at all but if we reset the game real quick uh, we can however jump again while in the air so now the only thing that we really need to do is we need to reset our current jumps back to zero once we land on the ground. And the fantastic thing is Unreal actually has a function for this, and it's called onLanded. This will just run whenever we land on the ground. So let's just set our current jumps to zero whenever we land. And then you will see we can double jump, 
and now we land on the ground and now we can double jump again and we can run a little bit and we can double jump again and so on and so forth one thing that you might note though is that your second jump seems significantly less powerful than the first one and that is because uh the first one it doesn't have gravity acting upon you immediately and the second one uh, does and by and large you're not going to be able to do all that much about that so what i would recommend you do is if the jump is allowed we just check whether our current jumps is at the moment exactly equal to one if it is then we can just do the normal jump so let's add in another branch here so we can just do the normal jump if we're exactly equal to one and then we can do our character launching our fake jump if it is not exactly equal to one so if it is your second or third or fourth or whatever jump and at that point we can just instead of using our normal z velocity we can use our z velocity multiplied by like two it's a little bit of a hacky way of doing things but that kind of fixes the problem so now we'll see our first jump is what we expect it to be and our second jump is maybe even a little bit too powerful but we can fine tune this to like 1.7 instead and just going back and forth a little bit until we get a secondary jump that feels somewhat of the same caliber now we can also put back in our input action jump complete uh for stop jumping that said though i generally when i do this uh to keep things consistent i don't like to use the pre-made jumping function uh, you can do that and there's nothing wrong with that but i personally prefer to just make a separate launch character again uh, which is simply not multiplied like this and the reason uh, that is is to have the like mid-air jump cancelling right now when we press this button it will just launch the character up a little bit uh, like a jump but there's actually no way for us to necessarily say hey stop applying upward force and that's what the default jumping uh, in unreal does really well for you it's not actually applying that force only once it applies it over time and then when you stop pressing the button it stops applying that force and it's all nice and smooth so the way we're going to do that is on complete uh, on our input action jump we will get our character movement component first here and we'll set the velocity to that and we'll make a vector because we actually want the x and the y velocity to stay the same we only want to cancel out our z velocity so what we'll do is we'll uh, also get the velocity and if we split that structure pin we can put the x into the x and the y into the y and the z will just be set to zero so now whenever we release the button our z velocity will get set to zero which you can do a lot to fine tune this but now we can make like these very short little hops and we can also do that in our double jump the only issue is if you do that when you're already going down it does this little thing where it stalls you for a little moment by and large that's probably not that big a deal if you are very bothered by it uh, what you can simply do is you can just check whether or not our z velocity is simply greater than zero and if it is only then setting it to zero that way if you're falling down your z velocity is a negative number and it won't do that so let me show you now it won't store you in midair when you're already falling down but you can make these little smaller hops in any of your jumps in your sequence so just for shits and giggles let's set our max jumps to like 10 jumps and as easily as that we now have a, a 10 jump double jump so we can just keep jumping add a second jump and a third jump and we can do a little jump and a very long jump and until our timer or our counter rather runs out we'll be able to keep jumping and then when we hit the ground it will reset and we can keep jumping again and again and again anyway so that's how you can easily make a double jump in unreal engine again if you want this project file uh, it's a quite easy system but it might be nice to be able to look through it or something there's a link down below in the description uh, to my patreon page and my user membership post where you can download this if you are a patreon or a youtube member uh, otherwise just look at this very simple setup and copy it over into your own blueprints and you should be fine and a very big thank you to all of my patreons you can see them on screen right now if you want to help out supporting the channel there's a link down below in the description to the patreon page
And a special thanks to my cave digger tier patrons, Sergey Thomas, 